the verb ir. It means to go. When used with an infinitive. You've already seen the video on the verb ir with all of its parts of speech. You know that it's an irregular verb, not to be confused with ir verbs. Ir, it means to go. And it's yo voy, tu vas, el va, nosotros vamos, vosotros vais, and ellos van. Uh, I go, uh, you go, uh, he goes, she goes, uh, you go, usted va, uh, we go, nosotros vamos, y'all go and we live in Spain, vosotros vais, and they go, van, and you all go when we don't live in Spain, uh, ustedes van. And we have seen these pretty much uh, used, the verb ir, when we are going places. Uh, yo voy al cine. I'm going to the movies. El va a la plaza de compras con su novia. Uh, he's going to the shopping mall with his girlfriend. Nosotros no vamos a la escuela mañana. We aren't going to school tomorrow. Tú no vas conmigo a la playa. You're not going with me to the beach. Ellos van a Cancún in Mayo. They're going to Cancún in May. We've seen this when we're going places. But we can also talk about the future. Well, it isn't really the future uh, tense. You'll learn that next year. But you can use the verb ir to say what you are going to do when you use it with an infinitive. And do you remember what an infinitive is, don't you? Infinitive is a fancy name for a verb that's not conjugated. And here are some of the verbs that we have had. You know they come in three flavors in Spanish, the AR verbs, the ER verbs, the IR verbs, bailar to dance, cantar to sing, levantar to lift or to stand up, hablar to talk, estudiar, to study, enseñar to teach, ver to see or watch, leer to read, hacer to do or to make, beber to drink, comer to eat, tener to have, compartir to share, escribir to write, preferir to prefer. Uh, here's three that I just put on here to round out the list. Abrir to open, asistir, to attend, like to attend a class, and escupir, uh, to spit. <laughs> All of these are not conjugated yet, and uh, <clears throat> they end in AR, ER, or IR. And we can use this with the verb ir to tell what we're going to do. So here are some things that we are going to do. Let me get a marker here. I am going to dance. We know that I am going to is yo is I. Voy is the form. And a bailar is to dance. And don't forget that behind the word ear in all of its forms, we always have the little word a. Ah. Yo voy a bailar. I'm going to dance. You are going to sing. We'll use tu. Tu vas a cantar. You are going to sing. Tu vas a cantar. We are going to eat. Nosotros vamos a comer. So you can see that Although we're not really talking about the future tense, we can talk about plans that we're going to do just by using the form of the verb ir, to go, with the little word a, followed by the unconjugated infinitive form of the verb. Oh, this is so cool. So now let's see if you can do this by yourself. I'm going to give you a few sentences in just a minute, and I'm going to ask you to stop the video, get out a little piece of paper, and using the vocabulary that you have already learned, see if you can translate these sentences into Spanish. And here they are. 
All right. What I'd like you to do is stop this video right now and see if you can translate these sentences into Spanish. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes. I am going to play basketball. Welcome back. Let's see how you're doing. I am going to play basketball. Yo voy a jugar a basketball. Did you remember the little word a uh, right after the form of the verb ir? And there are several ways to spell basketball. Uh, I've just chosen the one I frequently use. It's sometimes spelled with a K and you also can use baloncesto as they do in Spain. Okay, the next one. Tu vas a levantar pesas. Did you remember to use the little word a after the form of the verb ir? Some of you may say, well, Mr. Gardner, you didn't tell me whether the person was a friend or not. Is there anything else we could have for that one? Well, yes, there is. If you are talking with somebody that you want to show more respect, you could say you are going to lift weights. Usted va a levantar pesas. The usted shows that you're not quite as close a friend with them. Did you remember to put the word a after va? How about our next one? Ella va a hablar por teléfono. She is going to talk on the telephone. Don't forget the little word a after va. We are going to eat french fries. Nosotros vamos a comer papas fritas. Did you remember the little word a after the word vamos? And finally, they are going to swim tomorrow. Ellos van a nadar mañana. They're going to swim tomorrow. Did you remember the little word a ah, there? If you wanted to economize a little bit your sentences, since our verbs are changed with every person on the subject, you don't necessarily have to put the subject in these. You can leave them off and they mean the same thing. Voy a jugar basketball means the same thing as yo voy a jugar basketball. Voy is only used with yo, so we don't have to put the yo on there. Vas a levantar pesas means the same thing as tu vas a levantar pesas. Vas is only used with tu. And vamos a comer papas fritas means the same thing as nosotros vamos a comer papas fritas because vamos is only used with nosotros. Notice I have kept the a va. The, I put that because you could also say el va a hablar por teléfono. He is going to speak by phone. Or usted va a hablar por teléfono. You are going to speak by the on the phone. So this one clarifies it. Since there's three subjects that can be used with va, I often leave it on there. The same is true with van. Ellos van a nadar mañana. They are going to swim tomorrow. But they could all be girls. So that could be ellas van a nadar mañana. They kick the boy off of the team. Or if you're talking to somebody that you're not really friends with, you could say ustedes, you all, ustedes van a nadar mañana. And since there are three possible subjects for here as well, I will generally leave the subject on. But these other three you don't have to. Well, that's how you can talk about your future plans using the verb ir, which means to go, with an infinitive verb. Remember, the infinitive verbs do not be, are not conjugated here. You can see they're still in their ar, er, and uh, ir forms that they normally are in the dictionary. And, of course, you don't have to use them just with these. You can use them with any new verb that you learn, as long as it's in the infinitive things. Well, that's all it is for now for our video. Uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.